welcome to the web application pen testing course at pen tester academy now in continuation with the file upload vulnerability series now let's look at how null byte injections can be used so can you spot the vulnerability uh, in this php code right if you notice we are actually getting in a user input parameter name from a post request over here and after that we are actually going ahead and using name uh, to go ahead and upload a file and give it the name which the user has given of course we are also checking to ensure that the user has given a name which has an extension gif right and additionally we are also using get image size to ensure and check that this is an actual gif file right fantastic so uh, let's go ahead and see how one can tackle this case and this is where null byte injections in file names can come in handy the best part is you do not require the double extension or multiple extension support in the config so we can go back in here open up the apache php config and ensure we put in our dollar in here let's restart apache And now that Apache is restarted, let's go ahead and try this vulnerability out, right? So in this case, I have the traffic going through burp, so you can set up burp accordingly. And I'm going to use my workbench. Let me ensure we start with a clean slate I'm going to go ahead and copy a GIF file to the current directory and if you remember we had used this utility in the last video called GIFsicle let's go ahead and use that and let's also copy backdoor.php from user share web shells php simple backdoor.php to the current directory and then just use chipsicle hyphen hyphen comment and just like in the last video let's remove all the new lines though it's not mandatory honestly you can go even without the new lines but personally I like to see it uh, you know all compressed up and then action back goes in right dot php dot gif or rather we can actually even do an out dot gif goes out we can do a quick strings on out.gif oops my mistake I should have forced this to execute rather than just using it as a string right there you go so the back door is inside fantastic now in this case let's say we give a file name demo dot uh, GIF, right? Then we hit browse. Let's put this in. Let me ensure this is pretty much a clean directory, right? And again, unzip the source code files. This file is not required, and ensure that the uploads directory has right permission on it. Hopefully I don't have any other files, but just so that we been, begin with a clean slate, right? Now, this directory is available for download below this video. So please download this under var www just to ensure that 
you are running the same environment which I am. Now when I hit upload, right, this would of course happily upload and if I go to uploads, I would go ahead and find right the GIF file which gets executed. Now if I go back in and let's say do a demo dot php dot gif upload this file again happily gets uploaded but if you note we again just still the get the gif file now because the double extensions attack isn't working uh, pretty much PHP is not trying to interpret our GIF file, right? So here is where the null byte injection can come in handy, right? So let's do the following. Let's put in demo dot php dot gif. Honestly, you could just put in demo dot gif and we'll modify it along the way. Let me go ahead and enable intercepting. Browse. Let's put our backdoor gif in hit upload go back in here now what I want is I want to go ahead and put in PHP then a capital A let me just explain in a bit now what I'm going to do is the capital A I'm going to go ahead and replace in hex mode and make it a null okay so that when PHP actually when it works with the file because of the fact that it's going to use the C libraries underneath it, the null which will replace the A would end up terminating the string here itself and then the file would actually get saved as demo.php, right? So let me go to the hex view. Let's me go to this area here, demo A. Now A, if you remember, is 41 in hex. So I'm going to go ahead, make this a 0, 0 and forward this right this is actually Google safe browsing other stuff which Firefox is throwing at us let's not worry but now if you actually go into the uploads directory fantastic if you notice demo.php has been happily saved and this is our original backdoor which we can now take copy up in here and execute and there you go right fantastic so null byte injection is a very common technique and as one can pretty much go ahead and see uh, it makes life very very easy for you know uh, such kind of attacks right so download the code and try out this attack and this will allow you to go ahead and experience this existing vulnerability also on your own systems remember to download our file upload vulnerable iso from the link provided and if you're enjoying your time at pentester academy then please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the infosec community thank you